Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of the Ungodly Geeks Podcast. I'm Joe. And I'm Ron. God damn it, Luke. <laughs> and I'm Luke. <laughs> this fucking guy. And welcome to another one of our bullshit pods where <laughs> we just kind of sit here and have a very stupid conversation. Um, so this is on stupid today. Oh yeah, very much so. We, uh, we're just being... We're, we're no just being, direction at all. At See none. where we go. So, you know, I like I wanted to tell that story yeah. about what happened to me yesterday. Google uh, kind of cucked me in a way. <laughs> I'm sitting there. Uh, I'm out in my kitchen. I'm making some okay. food. I'm hungry. And so I'm singing Bohemian Rhapsody <laughs> to myself. And I turn around, look at my Google Home. I say, hey, play Bohemian Rhapsody. Expecting it to play Queen's Bohemian Rhapsody. Because what other fucking song is there that's right. worth that's worth a shit named Nine, Bohemian Rhapsody? Zero. So I'm sitting there, like, all right, do it. And it says, playing Bohemian Rhapsody. And it's like, so far, so good. And then it says, by Panic at the Disco. And I scream <laughs> at it, go fuck yourself. No. <laughs> and it errors out and doesn't play the song anymore. I'm like, oh, I mean, geez. so I'm you sure didn't have a... to throw out your Google Home. I did no, not, no. but I was close. Yeah. I'm sure there's a lot of people out there that love Panic at the Disco. And I'm sure they got some good songs. I've only heard one back in the no. day but how dare just, you yeah no. like okay i don't how know dare you? ron i would challenge what you just said because six people in australia bought tickets to their tour and they had to cancel it because of that <laughs> well i'm currently dating somebody that likes them so, I'm so maybe sorry. she's one of those six or people like them yeah <laughs> she just happened to move from australia because she couldn't see panic at the disco they, they canceled their tour <laughs> I'm not, I, I don't know. I'm sure she's wonderful, so I'm not going to rag on her about that. But uh, yeah, I, I, I was I was deeply offended on a personal level. Like, no, hey, yeah. they've been around for a long ass time, so you know, they're yeah. doing something right. I I, they have to be. Well, there's always a constant, steady stream supply of uh, you know teenies, teeny bop music. Yeah, I've Scene only uh, music. yeah I've only encountered one. Like, I bought uh, a Nightmare Before Christmas album that had all the covers on them, done by like you get like. I remember Fall Out that. Boy and yeah. Manson, and, I love and they album. did one, and I didn't. I didn't even. I, I didn't dig it. I know, no, <laughs> Korn you, did I couldn't one do it. And There's, Manson did that I liked, and I, I, well, they did. Uh, Corn did. Uh, what the fuck? I I, I just listened to um, Mr. Santa, Santa Claus. Yes, yeah, 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 yeah. That's that, my favorite one. That, that's that song, so good. It's not. It's like 172 days till Halloween, and I hum that song <laughs> yeah. all the time. Yeah, no, it, it's really really good. That's and, my favorite. Yeah. Oh man. But, yeah, I, I was deeply offended by that. Like, how dare you, of, of all things... It's like recent trailers have been doing that with covers uh, in of songs in the trailers. It's, no, use the original song or don't use the song. Unless you yeah. have to change it completely different tone. Just, no. Like, the only acceptable cover of a song that I've ever really run into was Metallica's cover of Turn the Page. Mm. Which a was, lot of people mm-hmm. say that's... Far better. It is like I. I really do feel that way. Like I'm not going to take anything away from Bob Seger and I'm the not original a band. Bob Seger guy, so I don't like know. the original song is fantastic, and he sung that at a weird time in his career. But like Metallica's cover is really fantastic. It's yeah. really fucking good. Yeah, I like. There's a lot of covers I like, but they did some Misfits I, covers that I did not like. Yeah. <laughs> You're just mad because they did it better. <laughs> oh hell! Oh fuck off! <laughs> <laughs> fuck off, mate! You, 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 fuck off, mate! You you can't do it better. <laughs> well, you, you, you can't do it worse either. That that's true. Uh, <laughs> that is true. <laughs> was it, I love them, but you can't do them worse. Yeah. What was it on the Ten Thousand Fists Disturbed album? That they did the cover <clears throat> of like. Uh, well, they just did the Sound of Madness, and well, that uh, one I actually um, like. That's um, a good one. Yeah. Fuck. I have see I I don't listen to Disturb. I go I try to not listen to Disturb. <laughs> you don't want f- to miss <laughs> if I listen to one Disturb song. That's like I'm immediately going on like a month and a half long Disturbed bender where I just only listen to Disturbed. Yeah, I love Disturbed though. I, when I go back, well, listen to Believe. <sighs> yeah, well Dan Such Donegan a- is uh, he's been my one of my guitar idols <coughs> forever. Um, well, I mean, you're looking at, at, uh, covers. looks like the only cover they did on 10,000 Fists was, uh, Land, Land of, of Confusion. Confusion. Yeah, that's what I was talking about, yeah. Yeah, by Genesis. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Which I had not heard the original, and someone was telling me, yeah, this is a cover of something, blah, blah, blah. 
went and listened to the original and was like, just, uh, why? Yeah. It's not, I, I it's expected not, covers to be in the same genre, at least. Well, no. It's like, it's like that, that uh, Tao Cruz cover that uh, fucking Ailstorm did, Hangover. Yeah. Like, you listen to the original song, it's nothing like they what they did. They single out. I, I saw that. They're going self-titled. to be at Warp Tour. <laughs> really? I'm yeah, somewhat was, interested in Warp Tour now. I see that. I mean, <laughs> I it's a big thing. I don't that. like no. super huge crowds, but, like, I... I Nobody might. else I give a shit is going to be at Warp Tour this year. Right. I was really bummed. I was really looking forward to going. That's right. No motionless, no Ice Nine Kills, no color morale, no this wildlife, fucking nobody. I know no. some of those bands. Fucking nobody. I know one of those <laughs> you bands. You should know you all do? of those bands. <laughs> if you don't know those bands, go ahead and look all them bands up right now because they're amazing. And I listen to them daily. Oh, but yeah, uh, I, what is the lineup for Warp Tour even looking like? There's like, a shit. There, I mean, I'm being shitty. There's a like. There's a bunch of good bands. Like New Year's Day is going to be there. I'd be interested in seeing them. Uh, uh, fucking what's that? Here, let's look. Let's look this up because we have Carnifex. The power of the yes, internet. that's the band. This fucking, Carnifex. I have heard of them. Fucking death metal ass band. Yeah. Carnifex. They're, They're really brutal. Fuck. So I'm sitting here. I was here. surprised to see they were going to be there. They're the one band I'd want to see. Like, I, I'm I'd sitting here and I'm looking at them. So far, the only thing I really would be interested in is Alestorm. Like, there's a lot of bands here. Some I've heard of. Some I'm kind of just whatever. And about. also like. Beartooth? <laughs> well, Beartooth. They're, they're actually that's good. A, that's they're a good. badass name, dude. They're Beartooth. Good. But there's also, um, like, the lineup differs per city. Like, right. on the West Coast, some bands drop off for the East Coast. Right. So, yeah. Memphis May Fire, I'd go see them again. Yeah. They were all right. I know a few people that hate them, and I know a few people that love them. Uh, I, yeah, I, I there's think not, the, there's, the I gotta be honest with you. the there's best not. part of them. I, I tried listening to them after. Uh, the show we saw them at. They're, 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 one, was they're, not, one of, was uh, they're one of those bands. Are you thinking of Miss May I? Probably. Yeah, he is. I love yeah. Miss May I. I'd be, I'd, Miss May, the, I, Miss May I is the best live band I've Dude, ever seen. Dude, Watsky's yeah. going to be there. <laughs> Why? I don't know. He's fucking weird. He kind of he kind of dropped off. Speaking of fucking Watsky, where the fuck is my next Rap Battles of uh, History? I don't know. It's It's been like a while. It's been a few months since they posted something. That's yeah. for sure. At least an update with. Uh, I mean, I know Epic Lloyd's doing some president. stuff on his own, so I mean, I don't know. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. He. I mean, he's always done stuff on his own. He's done the, a, a rap raps hires for this. Rap, rap dis- Yeah, d- this raps for hire. That's what that it is. One. And it's like, yeah, okay. But I know not what you speak of. He's the just the. Watsky. Epic rap battles. No. You don't know Epic Rap well, Battles I history? Obviously know yeah, you, you got to okay. know never, that. I've I was going to say, like, I've never listened how? to a, a one of them. Uh, oh, cut, dude. No. They're so good. Like, the one between Mitt Romney and Obama, so good. That one was good. <laughs> um, I mean, I've had uh, some weird rap benders in my day like yeah. uh like bo burnham i'll go and listen to bo burnham um this is like bo burnham like you I'll don't go, listen to I'll it go back, because you're like I, a rap I, fan. i'll go back and listen to like gangster ass rap from the early <laughs> 90s because it's yes. got that like vibe to it like nwa go back and listen to krs1 Compton, just released like, a new album ice I cube I, early I, early ice cube i don't really like uh the uh predator so the, the Predator, whatever that album was called, was like the last album I can get into. He started. Yeah. You can hear like him transition from like old school rap into like new shit. Yeah, and I I, Most, ha- I hate the new shit. I do agree that at least a lot of what's on the radio is pretty shit. bad. So I mean, I, I am a rap fan though, but I have very specific. Artists I don't I have. To. I love music in general. I'm not going to be one of those people who are like rap isn't music. Like no, it's just. A lot of it is fucking retarded, and I, they I have nothing to say. I can't say that I love music in general, because if you're going to say that, like you have to include really, really shit music, like country. Country's yeah. fucking awful, yeah. People, to be honest here. You, get, like, you take like a renowned rapper like, like Lil Wayne, put him on a stage and put a guitar in his hands, and it's one of the most cringiest things you'll ever see. <laughs> well, skateboard. YouTube that video. <laughs> YouTube Steve Terryberry. Trying to play, get he tries to play guitar like Lil Wayne, and it's so fucking funny. Uh, I mean, YouTube channel shout out Steve Terryberry. Like I'm all I'm all for people doing whatever they're gonna do. They, you know what? Do do you? That's cool. Fuck, mm-hmm. but like, 
uh, know your limits. <laughs> don't don't <laughs> fuck with things you don't understand. You know, like just, just don't. That's Please. all with Little Wayne when he was trying to be the skater, like rapper. He's like, I, he had delusions. Like, I'm gonna play guitar on this album. Yeah. I'm like, buddy, you don't just learn guitar like like that overnight. And he, he fucking like two chords. He got yeah. on stage and it looked like he he was trying to play the most pathetic solo I'd ever seen. Like, they're <laughs> just a simple like like two note part. There's no a, chords. Just there's oh, a band so called Microwave. Ah. Oh yeah. Hawthorne Heights. It needs to be another band. They I they sound familiar, but it needs to be another band called Hot Pocket. They need to tour with Hot Microwave. Pocket. That would be amazing. That would, <laughs> that's the perfect combination. And Jim Gaffigan needs to come along just because. He can open for him, yeah. yeah. <clears throat> He'd be his hype man on stage. Yeah. <laughs> Hot Pocket. <laughs> Hot Pocket. Hot Pocket. He's just hot pocket the whole whole time. (laughs) They have him do a chorus with him. He's just (laughs) hot pocket. (laughs) No, I would actually pay to see that. I would too. Like, are you kidding? I don't even care what type of music that that band makes. I just, I I just want to see him doing that. Like him on stage with them, and just hot pocket. (laughs) That would be that would be amazing to me, and I, I want it. Dead Girls Academy, Dance Gavin, Dance. The Dickies. Gavin <laughs> I know some people that love that band, but yeah. obviously I've seen I've seen them and I'm like fuck them based on their name. I'm like no, I'm not. I will not dance. Kratos, Gavin I will dance. not. Like but they're they're are, supposedly good. Are they I like what, what kind of band are they? Because the way they're they're, they're like, dressing like I, metrosexual dudes. I guess pop punk, uh, etc. Hey pop man, punk. Hot punk. I'm not dissing it, dude. I I, mean, I like I like mixed genres. To uh, be honest, there I love rap like, mixed. There are so many pop. Uh, see, that's the thing though. Like pop, pop isn't a genre, and that's okay. the thing I hate. I don't necessarily agree with the genre title, but right. pop punk, and, yeah. Like the genre, all these bands that are like right, right. It's one of them, like I jump. There are so okay. many bands I love that would fall in that genre. Right, uh. but like pop's not a genre, and I hate it when people say it is because it it literally stands for popular music. Like that's what it was originally. A lot of a day to remember stuff could right. do, can right. could go and could be grouped in with that. Like, but like, it, it, but originally that's originally what it stood for, and eventually became you know Britney Spears as pop. Yeah, it became synonymous with that kind of. Oh, and I just kind of hate it because like four like, years. But I mean, it, it right. became that style album. though. I get. Uh, now it's like bless the fall. This I know wildlife's somebody, heart flip album. That's I know, pop punk as fuck. I know somebody who absolutely loves bless the fall. I have they no idea what they are, so I don't <laughs> care. But Ailstorm, let's go. Let's go to fucking Warp Tour and see Ailstorm. Their their single art, their singles cover threw me off. Like they seem like this really like piratey. Yeah, obviously you've listened to them. Way oh more yeah, have. they have like a they're so like pirates. pirates. They, like a, they're, they're, they're that's literally, literally what they there's do. There's like a donkey next to a cactus with a poncho on in the <laughs> desert for like yeah. their art. Yep. Yeah, they're I'm just like, they're what just, are you doing? <laughs> they don't care. I, I don't get it. Fuck it. No, like that's what that's pretty much all they're about though. Like they are straight up just pirate metal. Yeah. Like that's that's pretty much how you would define them. Like the way I found them was through a song called Drink, and it was not the song, it was the music video, and they were dressed <laughs> as pirates and they were robbing these women of their wine. Yep. <laughs> Speaking of pirates, um I found out that the uh the new Assassin's Creed that got leaked yesterday. Or yeah. Assassin's Creed Origins, aka Assassin's Creed Egypt. Yes, uh, yeah. it's being developed by the same develop, like the same branch offshoot, whatever of uh, Ubisoft that did uh, Black Flag. Well, good. wasn't that wasn't that Montreal? They were the last ones who made a good. One. I don't. I'm I, off the top of my head. I don't know. I, uh, but Black was Flag was by far my favorite. Montreal one. did uh, two, <clears throat> right. and they did a bunch of other good stuff. So it, it makes me think it was Montreal. But I, I have no idea. I don't and I've heard it. people uh, already criticizing it, like, where are you going to climb in an Assassin's Creed game in Egypt? And like, uh, where did you climb? They in took the focus off Black, that with flag. Black Flag. Yeah. yeah so right, I could see so it working. Yeah, I mean, you you climbed the mast flag. to jump off yeah, of that, yeah, that yeah. like Assassin's Creed rule, where you skip one or skip two, and then buy the next one. Yeah. Like, uh, like where, what do you mean? Where are you going to climb? Are you saying there were no buildings in Egypt? Is that what yeah, you're telling me? Well. The the buildings, if they want to keep it at least moderately accurate, would be smaller. But you've got the like the fucking pyramids and the Sphinx. You can yeah, like, I mean, there's go plenty crazy of on. there's it's, plenty of uh, stuff to climb. I'm hoping they they change the the gameplay 
uh, fundamentally change Somehow, the gameplay. Please. They need a you need a change up at this point. It's gotten yeah. really stale. Yeah. Like I don't want to climb. A, I mean, I want it. They do it in Breath of the Wild, where it's like you get to you climb a tower or whatever, and you see the the you. Like, that's how you have to. Unlock I the map. I like yeah. that, but it's it's tired as fuck in Assassin's Creed in yeah. particular, yeah. where you climb the thing, you, you climb push everything. Y, you push triangle, and it spins around, and then you have fifty fucking blips show up on your map yeah but, and then you can jump into the hay bale it's, it's they need to do but if you they miss, need to do something different yeah i i don't i don't know man i hope they don't do something like that either i i can't i can't say i hate it in games some games have found ways to make it better um like breath of the wild each one's almost like an own its own little puzzle slash uh, obstacle course yeah yeah um, i've i've only seen recordings of that yeah that one it. um which Far Cry, the Far Cry games, while it's still the same thing, you have to climb the tower. Um, I mean, it's it's, it's like Ubisoft. busted up. It's their thing. So you're climbing. Like, like it, I, I like that a little bit better than my watch later. You know, oh, there's a tall building. Get to the top. Like they are, they they, I can't remember a game before the first Assassin's Creed that did that. I have no idea. I, I think, think it's, it's their them thing. that yeah. that. Yeah, brought that into the forefront. And I stuff mean, like that. I I don't think they were the first like stealth. <laughs> Assassin game, but they no, definitely no, kind of like made manage point he, right the uh, shit yeah. like that. Well, that's what I was getting at. Like I don't yeah. think, but I think they were the first to kind of start incorporating actual stuff like that into there. Like I mean, yeah, you're gonna climb to the top of a tower and look around, get your target, get a layout, and general. Oh, hey, I can use that. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I love Jim Sterling. He man, he they were talking about it in the last Jim Jim uh, and uh, he managed to slip in a shit. Uh, a fucking diss even even when talking about the vantage points is like oh i can't fucking see enemies because the the draw distance apparently is fucked up (laughs) (laughs) yeah enemies that you should be able to see you can't see yeah oh that is true uh speaking of video games i guess people are a little upset about prey there are some people that like like apparently i heard something about a game breaking bug Oh, I, I, didn't I, hear don't, about I don't that. know about that. I didn't hear anything about that. I, w- I was watching um, the No earlier, and they were talking about how, uh, like, people are kind of up in arms in a way because the game feels more like it was designed for PCs and then ported to consoles. Oh, like console players are angry about it. Yeah, like there are people that are apparent. Apparently, it's an issue, and I I don't know why. I mean, because PC it it offers the better experience, and yeah. people are upset about that. It's like. But isn't that kind of how it's always it should, been? I mean, it's always been that way, and it's the way console like those games should be. Right. And it's companies like Ubisoft are the ones that make it so they force you to play it the same as the console. Right. The it's locked like, frame rates and stuff yeah, like that. Like, but, like, 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 like that's the thing. Like, like the when I think of of that of the being experience being better on on PC. Yeah. It's like, well, I mean, until recently. That's how it's always been. Uh, yeah. A lot of players have run into a problem in which after several dozen hours of play, the game presents an error message saying sh- saves are incompatible with current game version. The, oh. game, the game often crashes according to player reports. And and that's the, the uh, console version? When trying to leave the area of, most, of the most recent save for a new one. So like, uh, like, like, like makes sense have they but. issued an update? Recently, that would have done that. No, they like, have, they're working I, on the first up, uh, like patching that. Uh, like I, I could see that being a thing. Like, like all right, with GZ Doom, the 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 open source. It's on. It's mostly predominantly on PC. Oh, oh okay. Well, see, here's the, like that's why I asked that they issue an update recently because like all right on GZ Doom, if you play on like version three, the saves for version three aren't going to work for like version two point two. If you play on 2.2, there's a very good chance the 2.2 saves won't work with like 2.4. So it's it's God. just that's that's why I'm like oh when maybe will these developers learn man uh, after Mass Effect and this like hopefully they all learn like it no. reminds me of Mass no, Effect where there's a fucking bug where uh, you can't 100 percent the game. <laughs> I don't know if the last patch has fixed it. I haven't had time to get back on and play That's a game sad. in oh, like a week and a half. But uh, mm-hmm. like you, there's a a, a sub quest where you have to upgrade your nomad shields. I believe it is. Yeah. Right. And uh, I did that fucking long time ago, but the the it never. 
goes away and you can't and there's also another bug where every single time towards the end towards it ha- started happening to me towards uh I had completed the game but every yeah. time I'd go back to the uh the ship uh it I'd get notified that I'd have a new email I'd go oh fuck and I'll go run over to my email station right no new emails <laughs> you just get <laughs> infinite so new like, email so notifications. Like that one quest will just never complete. Yeah. Is that what you're telling me? Basically, that, yeah. I, oh. I, I, I c- they may have patched that because a, a new update r- released, I think. That's a bug a in uh, the last uh, Dragon Age Inquisition. Uh, there's this quest where if you don't complete it before a certain time, the uh, main cast character – well, I guess he's secondary technically. He's not – he uh, – no, no, I think he's main cast. But anyway, this character will move from the spot he's at in the castle thing, but uh, he won't show up anywhere else, and you can't talk to him to complete the quest. It just points you <laughs> oh, to an no. empty room oh, where his man. like secretary or whatever is standing there organizing books, and you're just looking at it like, you fucking bitch. Like, dude. Where'd cure, he go? <laughs> cure my PT, cue my PT, PTDSD, PTSD about like Skyrim. Because there's like about a million quests that are like that. Oh Skyrim. yeah, Skyrim and Oblivion would do that too. But I mean, um, in this game, it was like it was out of nowhere, and I'm just like, what the fuck? Where, where'd what do you I go? do now? What do I do now? Yeah, uh, like, thankfully least, it's a side quest, so like, you just I, can't go. But it's a chain, so you can't go further in that chain of side quests. See, it's like like see with The Witcher Three, if you have something that happens like that, you just fail the quest. Yeah, like it won't just stay in your book forever. <laughs> like you just fail. You you fuck you, you fucked up. Like I had that happen with the alchemist in the beginning. You know, mm-hmm. you can save her, but something happened um, in my second playthrough where I didn't. I don't know how I I missed it, but I missed it, and it's failed. Yeah, it's like oh well, fuck. Didn't know that would happen. Yeah, well, but uh, oh well. <laughs> but, it's failed. She's fucking dead. Yeah, she's dead. Like she's literally like her her. I think her hut's burned down. Oh God! <laughs> like that's how serious th- th- it was, and I don't know how I missed the quest because I know I talked to her, <laughs> but apparently I guess there was a time limit and I didn't complete the quest in time. So the bitch is dead. Ah, Fallout Four had some uh, annoyances with the quest, but God, that was don't more even like get me intended. Fallout Four. <sighs> yeah, I mean, yeah. Say what you want about Andromeda, I have nearly as many problems with Andromeda as I did like fuckery mm-hmm. going on as I did with Fallout 4. I mean, that's just something we expect from Bethesda these days. Though. Like, it that, gets they just, forgiven for them. They just release, they release that shit. Mm. They do it all the time and then they, and like, then the modders fix it. On all. consoles, yeah. I never, this has never happened to me with any other game ever. My game would flat out crash. And go mm-hmm. back to like go your home screen. Go back to the fucking home screen. Yeah. You know, I mean, I, you know, me hours. The only other game I, that I can think of in consoles that hap- had that happen. Never. I've never. To where that. I remember it, a, like, not a normal crash, like something that happened multiple times was uh, the fucking uh, older Fallout games and mm. Skyrim and virtually any Bethesda no, game. Interestingly yeah, no. enough, I never had Skyrim crash on the 360, but I had it. I mean, before I would even mod it on the PC, it would crash like. A hundred times before, <laughs> like Fallout, Fallout Four, it wouldn't go back to it. Wouldn't even go back to the home screen at first. It was just like you'd be doing your thing and you go near, and you would literally just freeze the fucking the whole game. Oh, I've had that on and, consoles, and then it would it boot back. But like, it's what the fuck? What the fuck? This like, is an Xbox game. In the same vein as that, my favorite crashes in Skyrim is like let's say I'm riding my horse across you know the field and. I've had it where my controls have stopped being responsive, so my horse just keeps going, and the game just the game just <laughs> won't respond at all. And I'm like, "What the fuck?" And then it, it'll go for like 30 seconds, and then crash. So my my I'm just my character is just locked in this eternal running forward. And here's the thing: that one day I had that happen, and it had auto saved. So whenever I loaded the save, it would just keep going and then crash. Oh, that sucks. Yeah. So that, I, that I wasn't was, even like a hardware problem. I was mildly upset. No, I mean, it, it was on my PC. You know, I just built upsetting. the thing. Yeah, it was mildly upsetting. <laughs> I think that's appropriate to, to describe my frustration. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I threw my fucking mouse across the room, but yeah, it's okay. <laughs> it's all good. Uh, yeah. it, it, it's, it was a glitch that I was doing on purpose. So there's less forgiveness in it. 
But uh, when I was trying to climb the Tower of Cyrodiil in Oblivion by putting down the paintbrushes, oh yeah, that in the console, at least the console version, yeah, you, know, of you could do it on the PC too. You could, yeah. yeah, so they stay at your height; they don't fall down. Yeah, so there's n- there's no physics there's no physics applied to them, so you can yeah. just stack them. You can stack them and jump up in the air. And I was doing that. It uh, either I manually saved or it auto saved as right as I was hitting a bug where I fell through the floor. Oh. Like as soon as it did, I fall through the floor. Or in Skyrim, I'd open the door to a house in the uh, DLC, dra- the Dragon DLC, Dragonborn DLC. <laughs> As I open the door to the house, all of, of the furniture falls through the floor and there's no floor. <laughs> Every oh, time I fantastic. open the save, yeah. they feel like I could turn around and walk out. But <laughs> it was one of my favorite saves I had on Skyrim. It's one of those things you find you, you have difficulty in deleting. But yeah. the problem is it's an auto save, so it'll get overwritten eventually. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it's, I was able to manually uh, save that case. It's been years, but I had a, a, a like, I basically, like, I couldn't 100% or the game or complete the Thieves Guild mm-hmm. with the Gray Fox and Oblivion. Uh, like, you know, the that the very end of the Thieves Guild mission uh, series of quests, you have to... Uh, Boots of Spring Hill Jack thing? But yeah, basically get all the way up the tower, yeah. right. work your way all the way up to it. That was so fucking hard, and it took so <laughs> fucking long. It was Get all the way was. to the top, and your way out is you jump down this fucking, I guess, a fire fireplace, firescape kind mm-hmm. of deal, or it's Whatever. been forever. But yeah. yeah. It goes but from I, the top all the way to the bottom. I so got it's guaranteed a tunnel. to die. And apparently I missed something, and mm-hmm. I went back down. I went down. To uh-huh. complete the mission, and once you, once I was down, like you're just down. Yeah, there's you, no there's going back no up. going back up. Oh, there's shit. no way. It's the area is completely <laughs> locked off. Basically, yeah. As as that's how. I yeah, if you it. were in PC, you just turn off clipping and walk the fuck back up. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> complete the quest. That reminds me. All them, um, them fucking uh, blind sc- scrolls, them blind monks and shit. Yeah. Uh, fuck that section. <laughs> fuck that thieves guild. I, I, I'm playing through a, a, a Doom map, map, map pack right now called Requiem, and it's it's really cool. Um, you can tell it the, the level design is kind of disconjoint because it's just, there's no real theme to it, but it's still pretty fun. But there's one issue that I take with it. In one of the fucking levels, there's a fucking elevator. It, it like, it, you cross over a line, it pops down. And there's a shotgun. There's there's some shotgun shells on it. If you go and collect the shotgun shells and ride the elevator back up, there's no way for you to get back down. <laughs> you are just stuck in that elevator forever. Like I would be okay if it killed you, but no, you just get stuck. Like was this was this was this stuff not play tested? Yeah, like I mean, I realize it was made by the community, Come but on. did you guys not? Like, look uh, into this a little bit? Did you not put a fuck... Uh, why did you not put a switch up there that I could hit to make the elevator no go back down? down button for you. Yeah, no, you're just stuck. So I had to... I had to. <laughs> what I had to do, because it's not enabled... The cheats aren't enabled by default, so I had to set a variable to true, save the game, reload, and then turn on the cheat to go through the walls in order for me to get out. It was... What is this shit? And I feel nobody's I, I, gonna go back in the elevator. You're fucking crazy, Phil. I feel like an asshole now, you though, because it's like it's an. It, I feel like an entitled asshole, but like <laughs> that's a very small thing. Like, put a fucking switch to make the elevator go down. I mean, seriously. But yeah, that, that was that was annoying to me when I found that out. I ran it about it on Twitter for a little bit because it pissed me off so much. <laughs> I was one of the guys who like had contributed in that and <laughs> fucking tweet you back and just be like, "Hey, fuck you." <laughs> it's like, "Hey, fuck you." Play test your shit right. <laughs> Don't make a fucking elevator that just traps you in a little one foot by four foot space, you cuck. Could have fucking just sent an error report, but no. <laughs> Got to put them on blast well, like, on Twitter. It, it's like I didn't put them on blast. I just bitched about it. <laughs> but it's like I I I don't. I'm pretty sure it's in its finished state. And I I, I throw up the air quotes finished. Yeah. Because I mean I don't think it's been worked on for a few years. Shit but it's, you gotta remember, it's, somebody, it's forever. In somebody worked production. very hard on that game. Well, you it was keep just that in mind. It was just the one level because <laughs> you want to get out there and rage. <laughs> it was just one level though. So like it was made by a team and every yeah. and each level was made by a different person. That's why I say the level design is disconjointed. Gotta There's find no real out theme. Who was responsible for that level? Track them down and hit and them with a waffle like iron. Jay and Silent Bob and Jay and Silent Bob <laughs> strikes back. Just knock on their door and like, are you this person? Yeah. Everybody Did you make this level in this map packs. pack? Yes. Yeah, start beating the shit out of them. <laughs> <laughs> it's perfectly reasonable. 
how I feel about Casey Hudson. I want to find him and beat his ass for Mass Effect 3. Oh, see the... Uh, Why did you do this to me? Yeah. So they could sell you more DLC. <laughs> it looks like EA is That's why. pretty. It was, that wasn't Citadel paid? I didn't. I didn't. I didn't yes. download it because yeah. I, I was done with it. It after. was like a it was. twenty dollar expansion or fifteen dollar expansion. Uh, it was. I yeah. don't know price, but it definitely was a paid DLC. Twelve hundred um, Microsoft points. I, that's why I kind of wonder if there's anything for Andromeda that's going to come out. Wasn't the uh, extended extended version free? Like just a, like a free downloader? So I, I believe. I have no idea. This for three, the yeah. Citadel stuff, or oh, you no, mean the Javik shit? No, no, no. Uh, After it, it adds uh, ec- the ending, it adds extra scenes. Oh no, 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 no! Like, that's that. That like is sh- a paid DLC like that shows came your out squad afterwards. being picked up on Earth. The uh, the the alternate endings where it shows yeah the squad being picked up the it's kind of like pictures yeah. with um, I don't even want to get audio. into that ending because yeah. yeah but yeah no no that was free like, that was what the fuck update. was it this what the fuck was it that what what happened to these people are they just <laughs> are they just dead how the fuck am I supposed I guess I'm not supposed to fucking know huh nope, nope. no closure for you motherfucker hours of game <laughs> fuck you Casey Hudson no can, no no closure I don't care for you. how pressured you were by oh, EA. Man. He was so far up his own ass trying to come up with an ending for that game. That's honestly similar to what it's uh, Andromeda. I'm placing blame on you, Casey Fucking Hudson. What, Wrongly, what probably, doing? but I'm blaming you. What are you doing? Fuck it. It's every name character we looks so hideous. Uh, I, I... That studio apparently kind of caught EA's ire. It looks like they've been put on like a uh, hiatus. He's apparently... <laughs> Casey Hudson I mean, apparently working on Hololens. Yeah, yeah, they're definitely they looking, working on a new IP, yeah. which I get. Take a break between your fucking games, please. Yeah. You know, well, I, 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 I mean, I, I'm, I wouldn't be surprised. I can imagine they're going to take like three years before they come. I think it'll be. Cool. Well. I think it'll be because cool. um, the the main part of Bioware. I forget. Of course, I can't remember the studio's name. That mm-hmm. branch, but two um, K. No, but uh, yeah, Bioware. Uh, oh, never main. mind. I'm, Bioware main. I'm tired. Um, <laughs> like they handled the first two games, Bioware Montreal. They right, handled right. mostly the multiplayer. Right. And after this game, I guess you're getting downsized. You're going back to being in a like a supplemental studio, like yeah. help out. With you do or whatever. This part, I don't know. Not your own but, uh, project. Bioware main. Uh, that branch. They're currently developing a new IP. Mm-hmm. They're working on that. So I. I don't know. Mass Effect is just on ice, as they said, until they're they're done with mm-hmm. this one, I guess. And Microsoft's I mean, going to be like, "No, you guys, you guys are going to alternate. You're going to work <laughs> on Mass Effect now. I don't. Know, this new IP can wait. Yeah, this is how um, I imagine that's going to go. It I, depends I mean, on how the new IP is received, too. I actually kind of I hate I, I hate to hate on Mass Effect Andromeda, but like for real. I mean, it, a lot it, of it, it the way was it was wrong, launched, it deserved. Right. It, 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 a lot of it wasn't. So, I mean, some of I'm it was, about, but like, a lot of it wasn't. I'm, I'm that like, was a the great failure game. to finish the game. Yeah, I mean, come that, on. It deserves well, all criticism about that. Well, I mean, the game was finished. The, people that were bitching a, about that facial animations and, and some some run bugs and some stuff and a like lot that. Of bugs. And and stuff I that never. Me personally, I played that game for over a hundred hours. I encountered no fucking bugs. The I thing encountered is, though, no dropout, no drop ins, no no none of this shit. Yeah, I, this I, shit. I don't know how you magically from the, managed to do I that. I didn't. Aside from the facial animations being cringy sometimes. Oh, that's about it. I mean, trainer. She was horrible. I mean, it's just, it's just, but, but, but regardless of, of whether stuff. or not you encountered any bugs, the fact is there were enough people who did. And it's like, okay, I get that there's always going to be bugs in the game, but seriously, all of that, maybe not the bugs, but everything else should have been done. Yeah. No, they, that was unfinished animation. Yeah. Like, I don't, I, I, and I then fully, they finished it, which is good on them. I believe right. they could Fantastic. have done much better. Um, I'm not. Defending them in that regard, like I, I feel like they didn't do as good a job as they I mean, should have. No. I mean, yeah, that's, that's all. Let's that's not all I'm sit here and pretend that EA didn't rush the fuck out. Oh of no, them. they put and a date also, and said it has to be and done. By also, this date. apparently, for most of the dev cycle, that game they were aiming for something more like No Man's Sky, and very late in development, apparently they switched things up Get a bit. You know, uh, is apparently how that went. Accidentally spilled the water. So. <laughs> 
It's like Final Fantasy 15. People are like, they had 10 years to make this game. No, actually, they had yeah, like, like maybe three. Like two and a half yeah. years, three tops from. <laughs> like, like that's how much time they actually had, and they yeah. pulled off this this huge fucking game right. in a very rushed situation. So they deserve the scrutiny they're getting, but also you need to also realize that making games is hard, and it's even harder when you have, you know, Big Boss up there rushing well, yeah. you out the fucking door. I mean, you still, People at, don't at the same time, that. you know, you, you can't say, well, that forgives criticism. It's unfortunate, and I give just as much as shit to EA over that than as I would uh, Bioware or Bioware Montreal, because ultimately it's EA's poor management. Yeah, EA's. We all know EA is fucking yeah. terrible. It's kind of like shit too. why I don't blame DC for the Warner Brothers movies. Yeah, same. No, I, I, I I'm full on on. No, I know. Being, like every every game dev, every co- every game company deals with yeah. that. Aside from a few, like obviously Bethesda. They're not being rushed with their Fallout Boy or Fallout Boy. No, they're Fallout just terrible. Games or their yeah. Elder Scroll they, games. They focus on um, something else instead. But of they're just polish. bad at what they do. You know, and and Naughty Dog, <laughs> Sony's just like you do you. Right. Yeah. Keep making tens. Like I said, be- <laughs> as I, I long w- as you make tens, you can go ahead I, and do I, whatever you want. I would never, ever, ever give Bethesda undue praise because they don't. They don't. I mean, they're they're yeah. shit. Let's be honest here. I love them. I love the games they produce, but they the games are shit. You know, there shouldn't be that many bugs in that kind yeah. of game. You know, like I get that there's going to be, but it's like, did you do any QA? It's at like all? so big and so so much usually usually to their games that you it's like well I guess they have to cut somewhere even though this game was developed like eight years and, uh, and also a Naughty Dog dev uh, talking about Naughty Dog one of their devs came out and, and spoke in defense of uh, Bioware Montreal and they're like you know do you know how much motion capture we had for uh, Uncharted. The on uh, uh, the latest one. Yeah, that's a huge problem. They're they didn't like, do mocap for the like, fucking game. They're like we had we had about four out like no, about nine hours, ten hours around there of motion capture. Yeah, laid out for this game. <laughs> right. And that's a normal game now. Right. And, and you're talking a game like Mass Effect, which isn't. People forget this is an RPG where you have twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty, seventy hours. Of game, every conversation, all this stuff, dude, come on! Like yeah. they, no, I get it, that. Like it's... you got to understand, people don't know what goes into making video games when they're bitching about these this, these sort of things. Most I, of the I time. mean, I I know I know exactly what goes into making video games. So I mean, because I I've tried my hand at being a game dev and I didn't make it very far, so I gave up. I'll be honest with you. I know what it takes, and I know it's a very arduous process. There's tons and tons and tons of work to do. So I'm I'm not knocking them for that. What I'm knocking them for is I mean, and I'm not actually knocking them. I'm just saying I, I feel it's like criticism because they still put out a product. Yeah, and it's and still a said, good product. Hey, Sixty dollars for this. It is something that we're showing in the trailers. And then when you actually play the game, it's something else. Now, yeah. Mass Effect, you could see issues in the trailers, but uh, other games, you know, uh, like specifically we got into fucking Gearbox oh, and yeah. their history of that. And it's like I- I'm a little less forgiving. I guess I'm not like hating on you. I don't hate anybody that's creative and making something uh, I, unless you really are fucking bad. I just don't. But, un- I don't understand. Like every – you see it everywhere. Like yeah, like Prey just released. Uh, every, like there are so many games that are being pushed out the door right now. It's like, why? Are I don't really you see pushing much these Prey, out though. the door. Oh, also, you mean why, unfinished? Yeah, yeah, like why are you not taking the time right. to finish these games? The, the release date is so important. The nowadays, money that apparently. like the money that you could have or would have made. It's still there to you, be made if yeah, you wait a month, right? You know, to get some polish on it. Like, In fact, are, if you polish it, you might understand. get even more. It's it's too easy for them now to Look. have day one updates, and like I think we've said in the past, have uh, the public do their testing. Yeah, do a massive open testing, and then yeah. make you know, hey, sorry, here's the stuff we're gonna fix in our first uh, update, and have like a four gig Rockstar update, and like CD Projekt Red, they're perfect examples, like. 
Rockstar, they dude, they are in no hurry. They re- yeah. they can like four years, five years. They release when it's they, done. Yeah, they they are gonna make their money. They have mm-hmm. built up such a good reputation that like they can release another Grand uh, Gra- another Grand Theft Auto three four years from now. Yeah, it's already been what two years, uh, three years. It's been a while. Yeah, they get, like they can take that time and they are going to make so much money immediately. Oh, yeah. Uh, CD Projekt Red could release another Witcher, or they're going uh, Steampunk twenty whatever. Cyber, Cyberpunk 20 Cyberpunk, yeah. yeah. And they they've built up so much goodwill yeah. through the Witcher by doing things right. Yeah, it's that like come you on, you are going I mean, to build up that goodwill, and you are going to make so much more money. You you're just, I don't why <laughs> why would you not do it that way? I, I would yeah, actually I give them you, more like they credit don't mean for that. to release shit, but you are meaning to release shit when you th- push things out of the door unfinished. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I I give them more credit than uh, like well they ha- they can do it because of how good they are. It's they're going to sell even if they didn't finish the games as well as they did. It's especially in Rockstar's case. I mean, uh, yeah, yeah. But, EA does that all the time. Right. Where like, they release, you know you're going to get a Call of Duty with, I mean, not a Call of Duty, but like Battlefield mm-hmm. is going to have huge issues. But they're going to still release on time. And then people they're going to release like, it even with those issues and then just fix it and it's going to make a ton of money. Yeah. And then uh, you can get into like sales expectations based on quarter and time of year and stuff. And yeah. I don't think, I don't think that really matters. Just unless, I mean, it's gonna obviously you don't want to release your game right next to a fucking Halo oh, yeah. or a Call of Duty. You're not going to want to compete with titles like that if you mm-hmm. can help it. But other than that, there's no reason to like shoot yeah. for like spring as a like February as opposed right. to like September. It doesn't fucking matter. I've always I've always been in that frame of thinking where if you're going to make me wait a few extra months for a game yeah, because you're going to fix things that are wrong with it, you're going to put more polish on it, you're going to maybe add a new feature that's really fucking cool. I'm dude, no, do it. I'm going to give you my $60 anyway. Just make a functional game. Like push that's... a functional game out. Push a polished game out. Don't give me a turd and then polish it later. You can polish a turd. Like, why it's still could, a turd. Why couldn't they have released Andromeda in like August or September right. or October? That yeah. would've been I dude, I don't care. I I want I want to do Mass Effect game right. just as much as anybody. And releasing I it around that love... time frame is perfect. Christmas is right around the fucking corner. People are going to be buying it up for Christmas. I mean, you you'd push your sales through the roof even further. Like you get into I don't like, think they wanted to You compete. get into like late October, November and December, that it shit gets crowded around that time. Right. Like, but but like, right September, before there. Yeah, August, right before September, that. Boom. You're by the time Christmas rolls around, it's not going to be sold out anymore. There's going to be plenty of copies. So if you got a gamer on your list who doesn't have the game, you know they like it, fucking buy it for them. Yeah. There you go, Christmas present. I think that's also an issue with the budget and coming from their fucking uh, producer. Well, then they have to take the time after the fact and exactly. work on updates. So they're. I mean, yeah, the budget doesn't matter. I think that's matter. cheaper than your entire team. And them wanting to hit a date and then running out of money if they don't hit that date or, you know, whatever the, the case is. Yeah, but is. if that's your problem, you have a whole lot more problems. You should Well, they're trying have... to absolutely maximize profits. I, I, I understand that. But like I said, I mean, if you're going to sit there and you po- you release a fully completed game, I wish your would. profits are going to be fine. Yeah, spend a few extra hundred grand to, to finish the game properly because like, you're going to spend that few extra hundred grand anyway. And let me tell you, if CD Projekt Red's case is anything to, to look at and pay attention to, it's that goodwill with your fans can take you a lot farther like Rockstar than maximizing can profits. their game on how many different platforms, how many different times, remasters. Right. I mean, uh, come on. They, they released... They I don't re- give a fuck what CD Projekt Red's next game is. I'm buying it day yeah. one. And because I'm, of all the goodwill with their fans. They're making their money. Right. You got GTA V released on the PC, PS3, and PS4, or uh, Xbox 360. They later re-released it for the new generations of systems. People bought it. Yeah. Like Naughty Dog, you can write, write it down. Yeah. Whatever game they make... It doesn't matter what it is, you're getting, you are getting top, like, of the line quality. Yeah. Like, well, top, when, like you're you're getting the best video games have to offer, and you know that. Yeah. Because they've taken the time to do things right with their past games. And that's and, and that's all I'm saying. That's all I want you to do. And that's like Nintendo has done that. Nintendo did that with Breath of the Wild. They took seven years to make that game. 
And they delayed it multiple times when yeah. it wasn't done because they wanted to, you know, make a They wanted product. it done right. They yeah. wanted a quality product. They want that Nintendo seal of quality to actually mean <laughs> something these days. Yeah, you know, unlike some of the shit that was released on the NES with the <laughs> fucking seal of quality. Nintendo's actually doing some good guy things with, like, uh, uh, Mario uh, Kart. Um, the Japanese ports and stuff like that. Uh, right. Um, some of the some of the things that they've brought over from over. Are you talking about making it so you can fake being a Japanese? Yeah, console? yeah, yeah. Well, it's, I don't it's know not, if that's so much not, Nintendo being a good guy yeah, or I, I, they I overlooked that. that. No, I don't think, I don't they think they you can it. overlook it. I no, because they could have fixed that. And like, how many software updates have been released for the Switch? We've gone yeah. from one point one to one point two. I mean, I, I just like, don't think on, it's on their 2. priority. I think it's more, you know what? We made the 3DS region free. Let's yeah. make the Switch region free. Region free. That's the word yeah, I was yeah. looking for. So it's not like region locked hardware wise. Right. So, oh, okay, I mean, that's, that's, what, that's what they've done, and they could have fixed it by now. Yeah, but, but they it's haven't. not making them lose money, so I don't no, see no, why no, they'd no, care no, exactly. to put the time in to do it. They've, ta- they've taken the Vita route. Yeah. Well, hold on. I stand correct. The 3DS is not region free, but it can be region locked with some hacks. Yeah. But with the Switch, they decided to take that different approach, make it just easy. So, like, yeah, if I wanted to buy a Japanese-only game, I totally could do that. Now, if that's something that they're planning on fixing or if it's something that went on the giant list of shit that it should have had at launch that it just doesn't yet, uh, I, I get why it's it's not high up on the list. But at the same time, though, I mean, they could have fixed it with so many updates because I'm pretty sure my Switch is updated to like 2.1 or something You still can't like save that. credit cards to the damn You can thing. now. See, oh, you missed so that. Oh, so it finally Yeah, did you okay. missed that. Well, it took how many updates to fix that? I don't know, four. Okay. <laughs> so, I mean, as far as the list goes, that's probably pretty low. I mean, but yeah, you, you would think that they would want to fix that first. Nah, not the Because Nintendo, because they've always, I mean, Game Boys, I don't think I've ever had the region locked, but there have been there have been plenty of, pretty much every one of their home consoles has been region locked. I mean, it's... As far uh, as I know, anyway. Just about all of them are now. Every company, like, Sony's notorious for region locking theirs. Time to switch a coal. Yeah, we need new coal on It's there. just unfortunate. My, your, uh, Nintendo has a lot of games that sh- never got ported that there's audience that would like to play them. Oh yeah, like like Mother Three. Yeah, you Mother bring Three. Us, bring, us, bring us Mother Three. We want Mother Three. Damn it! Just a lot of classic RPGs and stuff. And I, I mean, I realize that there's a lot of issues with that because it, it uses a lot of humor that is considered very Japanese, and there's lots of very Japanesey stuff mm-hmm. to deal with directly with the culture. But I I feel they could be done. I believe who's love that shit though. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's, it's he's not wrong. <laughs> he's not wrong at all. And I'm not being. I'm not you know trying to down him. Just into what they're into. Right. I mean, otaku. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know, do what you do you, though. You do I, you. Always do you. I like the you. Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> go, go, go fuck yourself. <laughs> that was like the most stereotypical anime of all it time. Really, at least, oh, yeah. God. Back in the uh, le- like early days of uh, Toonami. Yeah. <laughs> fucking, or actually Adult Swim, I think. Fucking uh, Inuyasha. Yeah. yeah. Where everybody yeah. seemed to be obsessed with that show. Looking back, I don't like that show as much as I oh thought. Oh god, I, did. I can't stand it. Yeah, so those, I tried to finish the last season uh, uh, like so many of five years ago. Anime and couldn't shows make I've it. never been able to get into them. Like I want to watch Dragon Ball Z and stuff. Obviously, I've nah. seen a lot of it out right. of order right. back in the day, but like, it's so daunting. There's so much of it. If you didn't get into it, like when it first was on yeah. Tsunami, it's I, I can I can no, feel but you. you. Seriously, you might like a bridge. Oh, a bridge, bridge is no, amazing. I've seen a bridge. A bridge is fucking great. Yeah, a bridge is is. I mean, that's I watched, one of those things where the creator of the thing likes it too. So it's like, yeah, it yeah. did well. <laughs> but uh, all right, guys. So we just, we just bitched for forty five minutes about video games. Let's let's bitch about something else. Oh yeah, or uh, guess, you know what? We haven't changed Spoilers that. ahead, guys! If you've not watched Guardians of the Galaxy uh, That's Volume fucking Two, good. Stop I'm it, Mary right Poppins, now. y'all! Stop right now <laughs> and go watch it, you fucking scrubs, and then come on back. Yeah, I, I'm not gonna spoil it or nothing, but that was a fucking great movie. That, that was a. That I don't was know a if it was better than the first movie. one because no, I, I, can't I can't say no, it's no, better than the first one. No, but I'll, I'll agree with you. Uh, it was good. Though. It was it was great. Yeah, I really enjoyed it. Uh, but I, I, I would, I mean, if we, if one of you guys that looked at me and seen. said, like in a week, like a few days now, hey, let's go watch Guardians of the Galaxy again. I'm like, all right. I think that I was mean, definitely a movie I'm glad I saw That's twice. That's a movie too. you need yeah. to see twice. Yeah. yeah. To take right. everything in. It's so fast moving and those Easter eggs and. 
Oh, so many, so many references. Mm-hmm. I mean, Stan- <laughs> Stanley and the Watchers. It's one of the few <laughs> movies That's good. that That's great. I really like. There's a lot of reviews that I disagree with. Yeah, and not just on a. Well, I get it. You you didn't like the movie, but it, it's almost like reading the review. It's like, did you almost watch like this they movie? didn't see the same movie? Yeah, because yeah. like Guardians One, I do consider that like a fucking fantastic movie, and then two was you know not as as like. It wasn't as, as amazing, as, but it wasn't as still listening, good. but it was still it was still like right up there yeah. with it. Like, and there's so many things done in the movie that just little things, little bits of humor, little bits of like you say I, Easter eggs, and it's I just can't believe great. what James Gunn has yeah. gotten out of Dave Bautista. Like, oh my god, Dra- Drax! I live for every scene <laughs> that has Drax in it, which is a lot of them. Like, yeah. Everything he says is just so amazing. It's 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 fucking gold, and you can definitely end, tell. He just warms up to it. Warms up to Mantis like you're beautiful on on the inside. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's, it's just, yeah. They're standing there. They're looking. They're watching the fireworks. Uh, it's so me. beautiful. So are you on the inside. <laughs> And it, yeah, it, and Baby Groot is like the most adorable fucking thing they I've ever hit seen. They you with with all the adorableness you could possibly have expected, like in the in yeah. the opening scene. I actually really love that they did that because it's like, all right, we're not going to overload you, but here's enough Baby Groot to tide you over for quite a while. I, he was so adorable. I could yeah. I could have swore that uh, my girlfriend was going to seize up and die. <laughs> She's just I'm like, dude. Die. <laughs> Dude, I was sitting the there opening like the scene. I, she, it sounded like she was just she was convulsing. It was died. fucking adorable. Like I want yeah. a baby Groot now. I don't care yeah. science. Give me a baby Groot. Yeah, yeah make it happen. Teen, now he's teenager Groot. No oh, douche. Uh. Yeah. Uh, uh, I am Groot. Yeah, man. I am not boring. <laughs> now I know who Yondu felt. I loved that it seemed like that whole scene the when when, Miss, uh, when when Chris Pratt goes off that honestly seemed like it was it wasn't scripted. Yeah. It seemed like it was just Chris Pratt being Chris Pratt. Well, I mean that's what he does best. Yeah. A lot of the stuff from Parks and Rec watch like yeah. the bloopers and his improv. That yeah. guy is so funny. He he really is though, man. Like like I, to this day, my favorite thing with him in it is the video where they're in the thing talking about comebacks, and he yeah. mentions Kim Kardashian. Yeah. Like I don't really think that's a comeback, but in the video, she got cum on her back. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> like he's great in like Jurassic World and stuff like that. But I feel I I love him in in Guardians because he's yeah. a, he's a lot like he is. He's a lot like Andy Dwyer and Parks and Rec. Like he's no different. It's basically Andy Dwyer. In a yeah. Marvel movie, he's just, he's, just, he's, just, he's just less stupid in, yeah. the, in the Guardians he just, movie. He just did about three thousand setups, and he's been eating chicken breast and rice for like six months, and <laughs> nothing but broccoli that's and it. chicken. That's it. That's yeah. All, yeah. Oh god, but, the internet being offended by his diet that was too severe. Like, oh okay. god, just shut that the guy fuck got up. in shape. I believe, yeah. if I remember right, from the first Guardians, he got in shape really fast. Yeah, he did. Um, three yeah. months or he something fucking, like that. You, you have to three bust. months. He had to have a six pack. You have to bust your yeah. ass, especially when you were in the shape that he was in. I know because I went from weighing over two hundred pounds to to going down to one forty five a few years ago. It's not easy. It's not easy. It is not. No, I mean, I'm still on my weight loss journey. I started at 260. I'm down to just under 200, and that's taken me like two two years of, of different things I've tried. So I mean, no, it's and definitely losing not weight easy. is one thing, but also having you <clears throat> he know, built that muscle, muscle mass. Too. Also, yeah, yeah, packing the muscle. That's a whole another thing. Yeah, <laughs> it's definitely not easy. He did all of the crunches, all of the crunches, and all of the. All of the proper diets and eating six times a day and fucking a billion sit ups and <laughs> and the fact that he doesn't have a real time job to yeah like, um, to yeah, do like all fair of enough the, the guy got paid to work out for three months <coughs> that'd be pretty uh, I, I'd be okay with that and I'm a fat ass so I'd, I'd do yeah. it you're not fat where do I sign up for that job <laughs> yeah yeah hopefully this one but um, yeah no guardians like it, it hit a lot of really just good notes. Like yeah. I loved that movie and I was happy to see it a second time and I'd be happy to see it a third time if we wanted to go again. <laughs> it's it's one of those movies that like you leave the theater really happy. Yeah. Yeah. Leaving a, a little, great movie. Uh, it, it, a little sad, but really happy. Yeah. yeah. A little bit. It 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 really 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 did hit a lot a lot of the moments. Makes you want to impo- call your dad. A lot of the important yeah, a lot of the important uh, moments really? in that movie okay. were done <laughs> so well. 
<clears throat> like yeah. the moment when when fucking Chris Pratt finds out what ego did. Yeah. That he's, he just fucking guns oh, his ass man. down and yeah, blows his was, ass away. That was away. fucking fantastic. He, I lied about not doing spoilers. There's the fucking look on his face, the, <laughs> oh, the that's, switch that's, on his face. Like, yeah. Say what you want about Chris Pratt. Andy Dwyer can that act. That was so great. <laughs> he just fucking just out of nowhere. You killed my mom and smashed my wall. I love it. He's like, what the <laughs> fuck? He's like, you killed my mom. He gets a fucking Zoom. <laughs> <laughs> Like not, 300 songs not an iPod yeah. Touch, not a, not a first a Nano or not, anything. Not, yeah, no, he gets a Zune. He gets a Zune of all things. I wonder how much Microsoft paid them for that. Oh my god! <laughs> Considering that they don't support the Zune anymore, it's kind of unusual. I doubt that. I doubt they paid them anything. I think they're going to sue them for it. <laughs> that would, Disney would just look uh, okay. You know what? Uh, that that would actually be a fight. I'd like That'd to be see. a good fight. That would be. No, a good I doubt it. They probably they're going to re-release the Zune, the Guardians of the Galaxy edition. I could see them doing that. I would not be surprised at all. You know, and, and say what you want about it. It was a good device. Well, Microsoft ain't doing anything with the Zune. No, they killed it off. So that's 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 that was the a point. Joke. Yeah. <laughs> that's why it's funny. I hate you both. Fuck off, mate. <laughs> Look, you're right in the goal, mate. You fucking what, mate? <laughs> you're having a giggle. Bash yeah. your head in. Um, I swear on me, mom. So I'll break your fucking teeth. Wonder Woman soon. Oh yeah, yeah. That's uh, just a please, couple months. Please be good. Or, what, a few weeks away? Is it? Is it Something next like month? That, yeah, yeah. yeah it's it's, soon. it's, it's I'm not just trying soon. to remember what comes out this weekend. Wonder Woman comes out next month. Yeah, I am hyped. Uh, yeah, it's, it's looking pretty good, man. I saw um, yep. the final trailer. That was pretty. Yeah, I liked. I liked their final trailer. It didn't give everything away. That, I'm, not that any trailer. I'm not watching any more trailers. Like I, I didn't watch it. No, I'm not gonna watch. It, it. I saw one part of something I didn't want to see, and then it was like, nope, I'm still I'm, halfway I'm, through. I'm, I'm I, I watched that Spider-Man trailer. I didn't see anything I didn't already know. <clears throat> so it was specifically like how stuff is resolved. Uh huh. That's what bothered me, and I didn't want to see if there was anything like, else. Me yeah. personally, I'm I'm past that. I've moved past that. Like I, they've already got it. Like I've already made got up my money. mind. I'm yeah. I'm, I'm yeah, going no. to see it. I just totally seen I want to have as much fun at the theater as I possibly can. Yeah. And I want as much of it to be a surprise as possible. So I just I don't want to see any more. They're because they're going to try, even though yeah. Marvel does does everything well, right? Yeah. But they're still the going to try to spoil some shit for you. And I don't. I'm not going to let them. Sony. Spider Man. Sony is probably who's doing the trailers and stuff, <clears throat> and I, I completely knows? see that. Well, yeah, because I mean, I, I, feel th- like I think that was the deal, wasn't it? Like, like they I had feel, they had a similar uh, deal with Fox and Deadpool, where here's an they an, made the movie, but Fox did the or no, 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 no. This thinking? is the first X-Men. time. Like, here's an analogy shared. that I like. Like, uh, like Marvel is the head coach. <laughs> they right. stolen from fucking movie talk. Yeah, <laughs> and uh, thank you, Mark. And Ellis. Sony is the fucking. The they're owner. the owner of the, the team. hype man. They're the no, owner. no, no. They're, they're the owner. The owner so. team. Okay. Yeah. Coach is calling the plays, but uh, Sony has fine. Owner say. can veto that shit whenever they want. He to. can fire the coach. Yeah, well, that's yeah, uh, that's pretty shitty. Mm-hmm. Well, I, I think that's about it for us. Oh, it looks like we're running out of steam here. We're a little tired. Uh, we I'm just really us. high. Yeah. You know, di- <laughs> disclaimer: we are not like Collider. We're not IGN. We don't. I don't think they need that disclaimer we don't at this point. Get paid I think they know. To go I think to a got studio that. and go to work. We no. have day jobs. We have night jobs. Some of us yeah. have kids. One of us. We're has here. Kids. We're here. We're foregoing sleep yeah. to be here talking about this shit and doing this podcast. So I mean, we're not, and we're not experts on anything. Um. Yeah, um, I just I just I mean, wanted to say that. <laughs> Ron, you're an expert on ruining your own life. <laughs> I, you know, I, I was. Anyways, <laughs> it, you're I'm getting trying, better though. You're I'm getting much better. From, from Fuck yeah, things, dude. But, uh, <laughs> Past mistakes. But yeah, that that I think that's it for us. Um, yeah. So, guys, don't know. I don't see how you wouldn't. We're on iTunes now. So if you guys could go give us a rating, leave any yeah, comments. No if that's big deal. A, yeah, it's it's pretty cool. And any ratings that you give us, good or bad, will help us. Yeah. So go ahead and you know. Listen, drop a line, and if you're still with us, thanks for listening. Yep. If you don't even, like, use iTunes, give us a rating over there if you could. Yeah. Help us get started um, a little bit. We got our Facebook page up. It, we got to work on that, but it's up. Um, Instagram. So you can, you gotta, can, gotta, gotta we're work on, on that. Instagram. We're, we're on Twitter. On um, so go 
to the Facebook page, go to the Instagram page, whatever. Um, the Facebook page is more accessible. But go there, leave a comment, um, and let us know what you like, what you didn't like. How and, we can uh, improve. What, what else any, What else you'd like us to cover? Any Just questions? Comments, concerns? Yada, yada, anything. We're all ears. Yep. All right, guys. For the Ungodly Geeks, I'm Joe. I was Luke. And I'm Ron. You guys have a good day. And remember, if you're going to play with beavers, be courteous. Clip your fingernails.